funding he's funding fucking movies he's he's funding frank d'angelo canada's fruit kings fucking also you know moonlighting as a sex offender and he's still he's losing upwards a hundred million dollars on these duds okay these kids grew up in a cold uncaring household right no, like i said there's no family family vacations close to barry's death just out of nowhere, he randomly decided to rework his and Honey's wills. All right. It was reported that Barry Sherman was planning to make a substantial donation to a charity and also give Honey upwards of 100 to $500 million to donate to whoever she wanted to. Okay? Well, you're painting, a, you're painting a perfect picture for me. It would make sense for the... Listen, it's going to get even fucking shadier, right? Because... You have brother-in-laws. You have Jonathan and brother-in-law who are trustees for the will, executors for their estates. They have been the ones that have been fighting to keep these documents fucking sealed, right? Because they're worried that the killer is going to see where all the money is being distributed and come after some other people. Yeah. Do you, does that sound like a fucking legit excuse to you? Do you want things to get even fucking shadier? In, 20 well, shady in 2019... You've got this fucking property. Listen, every, we talk about it all the time with these haunted houses that people live in, right? People have been murdered. These houses have bad juju, but people are going to move in because they want a fucking deal. Yeah. Right? Everyone, I'm gonna everybody move in. wants a deal. So obviously, you know what? This is a beautiful house that has fucking how many different entrances and how many rooms and a fucking lap pool. It's a beautiful house. So obviously, we're going to resell this house, make a little bit of money out of it, and, and, and divide it up between the family, right? No, because in 2019, it was fucking demolished with all their belongings inside of it. It was demolished. The family decided to demolish this house Bad and juju. sell the property. Hmm. Well, when you, the family has that much money, I mean, you, I, you know, I, you want, the, I understand that aspect of like, here's the, but you could easily, it's like, that's a guy. So you're, you're any kind of evidence that could have been lingering or anything that is gone, gone. but you can, I can also look at it through the lens of, we have the we have the financial means, and I never want to have to look at that house again where my parents died. So I can, you don't I can have look, to. I, yeah, none of them. I don't. None of them live there. Yeah, none of them live in that in that vicinity. Okay, so here's the kicker for me: when we're talking about these professional hits, you're telling these people have these people have knowledge of where where Honey is. They know Honey's going to be at the house before Barry. Right? We know Barry's coming in the at the coming after that. So why fucking kill Honey in the first place? Because she's there. But she was at the house first. They were split up. They didn't spend a lot of time together. Why kill Honey in the fucking first place? Because you don't well, want Well, if Barry Sherman dies, Honey, Honey survives him, and all the estate goes to Honey Sherman. As pretty normal yeah. for a wife. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. And you why kill both of them? Because you want control. You want control of the money. You want the money, right? You want what's left of it, right? And and listen, maybe here's the thing: if they're not, if they can, maybe it's something where it's like if they both die, a lot of those that litigation goes away. Well, not only does the litigation go away, but the fucking stupid fucking investments go away, the donations go away. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't take the much. The bleeding to, stops. It doesn't take much for me to have to look at take a hard look at jonathan sherman i mean they were not close he's, they were his, his eulogy all. for his dad pretty cold no tears in his eyes no tears was, and noticeably cold. like no family member standing with him other eulogies family members are up there in support no one stands with jonathan it's gotten to the point now where some of this like one of his sisters actually doesn't talk to him anymore because she believes he had something to do with it yeah it's uh i mean he had when there's no when there's no nothing stitched up at the end people are going to wonder forever well, there's no there's no fine forms of uh, fucking of fourth century anything like that so who else can get access to the house that's not going to stress you know your son walks in you're not going to fucking freak out you're gonna be like hey what's going on jonathan well next thing you know he starts strangling mm. i don't know i just I, do you think he would do it himself though like that's the thing like i know I right. don't. I, I think he would have paid to have it professionally done. That, At the end of the day, in this case, for me, the one thing is just follow the money. Follow the fucking money. Where is the money now? Where are these billions where, of dollars now? 
with the kids. Who had the most to gain? Well, it's tough, man, because people in the will. Like you, there's a lot of people who had a lot to gain or had a lot of. I mean, revenge, resentment. Yeah, I right? mean, like, he, buddy, Barry Sherman's basically fucking Julius Caesar, and we got about fifty different people working on the Senate that took stabs at him. Yeah, like I, I'm not. There's so many people that wanted this guy dead. I understand that, but I just. When it comes down to what are you willing, you know, what are you going to risk? Well, I'd risk a lot for a fucking billion dollars. Well, and here's the thing. Here's the thing. If Barry, if Barry, Jonathan would know that Barry had said and was saying, I'm surprised Big Farmer hasn't killed me. Right. I'm yeah, surprised absolutely. they haven't killed me. A thousand bucks in the right, you know, in the right pocket, you can have someone dead. And maybe that's a reference he to knows. him hiring, trying to hire Carrie earlier and Carrie setting up a hit. And then. Yeah. Well, and he knows all about the beef with Carrie too. Right. He so, knows all the people that want his dad dead. Right. So it's he you know, he would he could easily frame this to, you know, look like a, a plethora of other people very quickly, right? Absolutely. So I don't know. It's a it's 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 a really it's a really, really tough one to, you know, pin down who you think. Well it's a tough one because there's really it's all speculation because no there's no evidence. Yeah. That's the problem. There's, there's really nothing. Like crazy, he probably, boy. he the, if you follow the money, yeah. Like okay, follow who who benefits? Yeah, yeah, boom, 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 one hundred percent. But there's really nothing else. You're like, yeah. fuck. I, it's a good one. Yeah, I just, I truly think that you know, what, looking at this, because this kind of reminded me of like when I started to look into like the big, big farmer and shit, like you know, this espionage shit. Like it, you could play this could be a fucking movie. The the Barry Sherman stealing these fucking documents and shit. And then the oh, yeah. big farmer trying to plant stuff. It, it started to remind me of like a mob story. And then I was thinking in my head that like, you know, like in the, in the seventies and stuff in like New York city, like any construction, like the, the construction trade in New York was in New Jersey controlled by the mob. And if you wanted to build anything, you had to pay a, a percentage was. to the mob. That's how it was. Portion. Right? Definitely. Now, what if, these kind of organized crimes, these like really like high functioning organized crimes have moved on to industries like big pharma. Right. And they're just, they're, it's, it's kind of a perfect front in my eyes because you, I'm thinking like it's medicine, it's making people better. Right. Like it's, it's here to help people, but really you see all this fucking shady, like, especially in this one, like all this shady business going on behind it. It kind of makes me think that like, is there a possibility that these things are run and operated by, you know, some sort of element of, you know, criminal underbelly? Right. So it's absolutely stuff. But let us know what yeah, you think. I mean, Holy shit. There's yeah. so many ins and outs of this case. Hashtag look it up. There's tons of fucking awesome 30 minutes. There's suspects hour, we didn't even mention. Yeah. 10 hours. However much research you want to do in this, there's videos and documentaries that will exceed. If you want to put 100 hours, there's hundreds of hours worth of uh, looking into this case. Hashtag look it up. Tell us what you think. Who who fits this? Who who do you think? Let us know in the, in the comments and stuff. Um, Zell, we got a theory of the week. No, we don't. <laughs> so I got a theory of the week. We've got um, theory of the week. You know, sometimes you know you can get it through many means. Uh, one of the ways is to head to wherever you listen to podcasts, leave us a five star review. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, do them all just for fun. Um, this is a five star po- uh, rating from uh, Kilted Commando from the United States. It says, five stars, I approve. Where do I even start? I've been into things like aliens, alien abductions, mysterious places, etc. for around 35-ish years. So that's what my podcast history is full of. I found you quite by accident as a suggestion on my Amazon Music app about two months ago and have been listening ever since. I started with Case File 1. I am now on 71 at running the risk of sounding like a Mr. Conspiracy level D-bag. <laughs> It's hard to find a subject along these lines I don't already know a ton about. However, I still love listening to them. Uh, the back and forth banter between you guys keeps me entertained for hours at a time. You all are the best thing to come out of Canada since gravy fries. Uh, if you haven't already done a case file on Stargates, we have. It's coming up for you. Uh, I'd l- love to hear one. 
keep up the good work and i'll keep listening keep those prolapsed brown eyes on the skies dale from <laughs> michigan uh, dale uh killed the commando you are this week's theorite of the week thank you very much for that hell yeah that's sunlight awesome. on the b-hole it's important yeah you gotta bleach you gotta bleach it to sunlight you know absorb energy that way yeah so i've heard it works personal experience no big deal <laughs> I think you just do full body bleaching. Don't yeah, you? yeah. Look at you. <laughs> I, I can't. I can't do full body bleaching. <laughs> Looks like you went crazy with the bleach, buddy. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Hold on. Turn. T- hold oh. on. Hold on. <laughs> hey, hey. Look to your right. Just stop there. Zell, turn. No, turn right a little bit. Just ever so slowly. To yeah, my yeah, right. Slowly. A little more. Right there. Do you see that eyebrow that he's got hanging out there? Look at that thing. <laughs> oh, that's a good oh, one. Yeah, I'm gonna pull a zoom on that. Look at that. You wouldn't believe. You zoom wouldn't zoom. believe. Oh. You wouldn't believe the eyebrows I get wild. right now. Fucking Whoville over here. I like it. I once pulled a six-inch eyebrow out of my brow. Oh, yeah, I 100%. get those bad boys, too. I get, like, I get a few It pulls right, right through. It pulls right through like it's somehow wound through all the strands, and you pull it like... What you're, what you're saying to me, and what I'm hearing here, is you only have about six eyebrow hairs that are just... <laughs> it's just... Yeah, they just, they just like kind of like dread. Yeah. They dread through on the, on the brow there. No big deal. Anyways, if you're not supporting the show and you want early access to all the case files, ad-free, all the bonus content, you got to go to AlienTheorist.com. Hit the support link. It'll take you to where you need to go. Over, I don't know what we've got, fucking 200 and... I don't even know anymore. 220, 230 hours of bonus Tons stuff. Of Tons of bonus stuff. Tons. Uh, we appreciate all the support. This week's newest supporters, we got Sarah Tate. Super socks. Leaf Weimer goes up from uh goes up one dollar in their pledge. I awesome. Thank you. Love Woo. it. That's how you, that's when you get your name read yeah. twice. Let's go up one one dollar. Tyler Bertrand, Chad Marks, and Max O Max O'Donnell. Thank you very much for supporting the show. We fucking appreciate and, it. And as we always say at the end of these things, keep those eyes. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you wanna watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys, enjoy the next video.